Hello people, this is Self Turks and we are continuing our series on Python for beginners and in this video we'll see what is control flow statements in Python. So every programming language in this world supports this control flow statement because this is the basic requirement which we need when we are writing our programs. So why control flow statements are needed? Control flow statements are needed because you need to take some decision based on some particular values. So suppose there is a program that we write later on that if your age is greater than 5 then you will get 5 chocolates. If your age is greater than 10 then you, you will get 10 chocolates. If your age is greater than 3 then you will get 15 chocolates like this. So there is a condition, there is a, a decision that need to be taken on your age. So control flow statement does what? It takes some decision on some condition. So we need to provide some condition as an input and the output will be either true or either false. So based on if the output is true, it will execute something and if the output is false, then it will execute some other thing. So what we'll do, we'll go to our terminal here and this is our terminal where we do our programming. So we'll do a ls here and you can see these two files which are present from previous videos. Now we'll create a new file and the file will be what? Control flow.py so this is my new file that will create and we'll write our code here now in python control flow statements can be achieved through if if else else if or if else if else if and else so we'll see all these things one by one so python provides us the keyword if which says that now your control flow statement is started. So when the interpreter comes to line two, it says that, oh, I have encountered this particular keyword if, which means that there is a uh, this control flow statement and I need to evaluate some condition. So after if you need to provide some condition and the return value of that condition will be what? Either true or false. So if you're uh, comparing something, if you're doing some conditions, uh, if you're taking some decision, so either it will be 0, 1, either it will be true, false. So there can be no other thing because either it can be true or either it can be false. So if you're comparing two things, if you're, so if you're, if you're comparing two things, either it will be good or either it will be bad. One will be good, one will be bad. It is not that both things will be good. So same in the case of control flow statements, for every condition that you are providing, the result will be either true or false. So you need to provide the condition here. So I'm saying that my condition is true. The return is true. So I'll explicitly write that the return is true. So return is true and then I'll print statement that condition is true. Okay, so this is my statement. I'll open my new terminal on the right hand side. I'll activate my virtual environment and inside that virtual environment, I'll try to run the file control.flow by using Python control flow pi. So this will, I'll hit enter and this will give me the print statement as condition is true. So I think you have understood that when the condition is true, the execution will come to line three and it will execute it. But if the condition is not true, which means it is false, then the line number three will not get executed. So we'll see it here. We'll come to this here and we'll say uh, change this true to false. So we are explicitly providing the condition return statement as false that the condition will give false. So if this is false, then line number three will not get executed. So we'll come on right hand side. We'll run this file and it there is no output. So if the condition is true, the control will go to line number three. If the condition is not true, then the con then the flow will not go to line number three. So suppose we have made the condition as true. Okay, so it is coming here true. Now, if statement can have a else statement. So every if, if statement can have an else statement. So what I'll say, I'll say here if or else. So this is the control flow construct that if something, if you are uh, uh, taking some decisions, then based on that decision, there will be true or false. So you need to evaluate two different uh, uh, lines of code. So here, if it is true, evaluate this. Otherwise, do what? I'll copy it and I'll do condition is false. So I'll write condition is false. So since the condition is true here, so it will come here. So we'll come to the right hand side and we'll run this file. And this time it is saying condition is true. Now explicitly, I will change this particular true statement here, this one to false. So we'll see what will happen. So I'll save it. I'll come on the right hand side and I'll again print it. So this time it is saying condition is false, which is getting printed from here. So you need to keep in mind that if condition is true, execution will go here. 
if this is false this execution will be skipped and the execution will come here so this is about if and else now there can be multiple condition which you want to take so for that you need to use the construct else if so else if and then you need to provide a condition for if also you need to provide a condition and for else if also you need to provide a condition so i'll say this time that it is true so this time you print what this time you'll print condition is true in else if so i'll say this and i'll run this file so it is saying condition is true in else if so how the uh, interpreter followed the program it came here it saw the condition is false it moved to next else if saw the condition is true it entered here and it doesn't enter here now i'll make this as also false the second else if, uh, else if as false and you can predict you can predict what will be the answer the answer will be condition is false now one important thing that you need to keep in mind which is very much important which is a good programmer if you want to become a good programmer then then that you keep then that you want to keep in the mind that is if you are having multiple else if statement then if any of the statement has got executed or suppose if there are if and multiple else if then if any of the else if statement or if statement has got executed then the next else if will not get executed so suppose i'll say else if and i'll say true so i'll say print and this time what condition true in second else if so i'll give it as a print statement this now i'll run this program and you can predict what will be the answer the condition is true in second else if because this condition was true so it went here the, the control of the interpreter the control of the program went here so this got printed now i will make this statement also as false uh, true so i'll make two true statement so first this will get executed and this will be true because i am giving explicitly here true so this condition will get executed now can you guess what will be the output so some of you may guess that the output will be these two line condition is true in else if elif and condition is true in second elif so we'll see here what the output is so it is condition is true in elif so i have told you that if any of the condition is true at the top from top it starts to get executed and if any of the condition is true then other statements will not get executed the program will directly come jump from there to the last statement so because this particular line 6 got true condition got true so line it the program entered to line 7 it found nothing came to 8 everything got printed here condition is true in else if and this line it is empty so nothing is printed so once the condition is true then a program will not run these lines this is very important to note which many of the new programmers or beginners make mistake okay so this is about if else if else if and false now we'll take a condition we'll take a simple program that we want to design and our program is what we want to distribute chocolate to uh, uh, these uh, small uh, small children and the use case is what that if the age is greater than 15 years then give 15 chocolate if the age is greater than 10 and less than 15 then give 10 chocolate if the age is greater than 5 and less than 10 then give 5 chocolate so uh, you are seeing here that what we are trying to do we are trying to make some decision based on the age of the child so if the age is greater than 15 then give 15 chocolate if age is in between 10 to 15 that can then give only uh, 10 chocolate so we'll try to uh, write this particular statements into our conditional flow in python so we'll go to terminal and the first line says what if age is greater than 15 then give 15 chocolate so what we'll say first we need to uh, store the value of age in some variable so in previous videos we have learned what is a variable so a variable is what it can store the store some values inside it so suppose i am saying that the age is 20 okay so the age is 20 so the first condition what we need to provide if age is greater than 15 gives 15 chocolate then give 15 chocolate so i'll say if age is greater than how much 15 so this is my condition here so this is condition and if the age is 20 so 20 will is greater than 15 so it is true so this statement will get executed so what we'll write here give 15 chocolate 
okay so give 15 chocolate will be the statement here based on the statement that we are reading here age greater than 15 year give 15 chocolate now the second statement is what age is greater than 10 but less than equal to 15 so the second condition will be what else if age is greater than 10 and because we need to do a uh, thing that is it should be greater than 10 but it should be less than equal to 15 so the range is between 10 to 15 so we need to say that the age of the child should lie between 10 to 15 with 15 included so we need to provide an and statement so now here two uh, conditions are getting uh, executed so we are combining two conditions and then we are getting the output as true or false now what we'll write here age is less than equal to 15 so this time what we'll do we'll change the value to 14 so if we ch change to 14 so when the program will come to line 1 it will see what 14 is greater than 15 so this is false so this line will not get executed now it will come here 14 is greater than 10 it is true okay but this condition the second condition needs to be true also so it is go for age that is 14 is less than equal to 15 is true so this particular statement will run line number 11 will run so how many chocolates we need to give we need to provide how many chocolate will copy this statement and we'll say give 10 chocolates okay so up to second line we have completed our code now for the third line that is age greater than 5 years and less than equal to 10 years give 5 chocolate. So this is the same thing that we have done here in LSIF. So this time what we'll do, we'll delete this line, we'll copy this line and we'll say if LSIF age is greater than how much? 5 years and less than equal to 10 years. So what we are going to do, if this is the case, we are going to copy this line and then we are going to delete this one and we are going to change this one that give 5 chocolates now up to here we are done so i'll again show you by changing the age so age suppose age is 8 and we'll come to right hand side we'll run the program and this time it will give what give 5 chocolate okay so the fourth statement is what if age is less than 5 years then give no chocolate so one thing that you can do you can write another else if but there is no need to do that because we have evaluated all the conditions here and the last one is what the default one that if the age is less than 5 so we have already checked here that if age is greater than 5 you need to do something but if age is less than 5 then do what go to else statement and just give what does it say give no chocolate so because these are child their teeth will get dirty they will get germs so give no chocolate so you can see here how beautifully we have constructed these simple readable English line uh, statements to a conditional flow statement in Python. Now we'll see the different execution scenario here. So suppose I'll give a random age as 11 and then I'll say what Python control flow dot pi. So can you guess what will be the answer? So I'll give you two seconds. Please guess it. Okay, done. So the answer will be what? give 10 chocolate so if you have done it correct it is very good but you have done it wrong then you need to see here so the age is 11 it will come to line number 5 it will see 11 is greater than 15 oh it's false this statement will not get executed it will come to second line 11 is greater than 10 okay this is true but there is another condition also which we need to verify 11 is less than equal to 15 oh correct so this statement will get executed and as in the uh, some two or three minutes before I have told you that if one statement one if or else if has got executed then the other else if statements will not get executed even though that is true or false so if I if multiple uh, else if statements are getting true then only the first one will get executed control will flow and then it will come to the last line here 21 okay so give tension uh, give 10 chocolate now i'll change the age to 3 so can you guess what will be the answer so i think it the answer will be what it will come here that is else give no chocolate so let's see what happens give no chocolate so this was a small program so see programming is not a difficult thing you need to think it in a uh, better way and you need to uh, learn about the syntax of that particular programming language and then you need to put it there on your uh, 
uh, python file or any node.js or java file so you need to understand these basic constructs before doing some uh, uh, good things in uh, or some hard uh, logical problems in programming so you need to understand what is variable what is this control flow statement we'll see loops and everything in our next videos so hope you like this video hope you like my channel if you like my channel please subscribe to it and please share these videos with other developers so can and share with it share this with other people thank you